Hey everyone, Sword here, and I'm not, gonna I'm not gonna wear my hat for this video because this is basically 45 minutes after I got pepper sprayed. And I'm gonna tell you what happened, why did I do this, and as well as I'm gonna tell you useful tips if you ever get pepper sprayed or if you see pepper spray lying around. So, with that being said, let's get started. Why did I do this? Um, I did this because I knew no one else would have the right mind to do this to themselves. I figured why not I do this and see what happens. As well as I did want to know and uh, yeah, I did want to know what it felt like to be pepper sprayed. So, yeah. And you, as you saw in the video, that's what happened. And yeah, it was not fun at all. I can say that I would never want to be pepper sprayed ever again. In, even if someone offered me money to get pepper sprayed again, I would just decline it. Kind of depends on how much money that uh, the person's willing to pay me. But other than that, no. I'm not going to do it again. Um... Yeah. Secondly, what happened? I basically ended the video um, early, and I apologize for that, but I honestly couldn't take it. I was jumping around. I was trying to wash my face off, but none of it, none of it worked, and I felt more and more stinging and burning so much that I just wanted to go home and take and take a, um, a quick shower. And basically, it took ten minutes um, to get back home while the um, while my face and my yeah my face was still burning. It felt like um, pouring the hottest or yeah pouring the um, the ghost pepper like you put in a blender and you, all you get is juice. You pour that into your face and you'll feel um, the same thing as a pepper spray, maybe even more. I don't even know, and I would never want to eat a ghost pepper. But that's getting off topic. But yeah, I get ho I get home. I jump in the shower. Um, it's a, it was a cold shower on my face for about 15 minutes, but that didn't do anything. And honestly, the burning kept going and going because, as it turns out, if you keep washing your face or washing the um, part where you got sprayed at, it's just gonna keep uh, keep reactivating, reactivating it, and keep on burning. So I dry off my face and I kind of added pressure. Um, which was a bad thing because if you actually put pressure on uh, or kept kept rubbing it then um, The pepper spray would get into your skin and from there it'll continue to burn you it'll be harder um, To what's it called? Um, avoid it. Yeah, pretty much so I sit down in my room turn on uh, get uh, turn on the fan and sat there for about 15 more minutes and from there I could I could actually finally open my eyes and um, feel it cooling down so that's pretty much what happened and I gotta say don't ever get pepper sprayed and if anyone threatens to pepper spray you don't take that chance and take it from me uh, I'm weak against anything that is spicy um, to eat but yeah pepper spray has nothing to do with eating but if you can't handle thing, anything spicy, don't ever get pepper sprayed. And some of it actually did, um, actually got in my mouth, and that burned my mouth as well. It's kind of how you can tell that I'm not really speaking too well. But yeah, I got burns on my arms and my back because <laughs> I kept slapping my arms as my father was driving home, and yeah. Since my hands were kind of got the spray, as you saw in the video where I just rubbed my face and rubbed my eyes, that was the stupidest thing I could have done because that only um, that only made it worse. And especially when I hit my hit my arms and hit my back and all that stuff, trying to you know that little uh, mindset. If you uh, if you have pain somewhere else, you won't focus on the previous one. That didn't work. That just only made it worse. So that's a useful tip. If you ever get pepper spray in the face, do not touch it. And if you need to wash it a little bit off, um, get get some water. Do not ever get hot water because that will make it worse. Get cool water and um, kind of wash your face a little bit and um, dry it off. Um, but not do not add any pressure. Like I said, it'll get into your skin and make it worse. So just uh, kind of wipe it off just a little bit and just leave it alone. Do not do anything else to it. And if you have a fan around, sit in front of your fan and that'll uh, that'll cool down cool down the burning sensation. 
So that's another useful tip. And also, if you ever see a pepper spray in a car, don't ever leave pepper spray in the car. Because during the hot summers, you know, the pressure and the um, hot environment is going to make it, it's going to make the pep pepper spray can explode and to the point where you won't be able to sit in your car for weeks. So that's another useful tip. So yeah, I'm the one who acted like an idiot here. I do, I do not recommend anyone doing this to themselves because I am still feeling the burn sensation on my hands, my arms, my back, and just slightly on the face because I got that taken care of first. So I was able to make this vlog, but again, don't ever do this to yourself. And I was an idiot here, and I'm willing to admit that, but I gotta say, I'm not gonna regret it. I finally know what it feels like to get pepper sprayed. So, mission accomplished. If you get a few laughs off of it, then hooray. If not, then, oh well. So, with that being said, I'm Sword King Zoran Zero. Have a nice day, and see you in the next video. And perhaps I may do something, I may do another stupid stunt. So, who knows? <laughs> See you.